You are a priceless work of art. My name is Caroline Marino, and I'm an artist, author, and illustrator. I take creativity beyond the canvas. I love making beautiful, uplifting works of art that can encourage, inspire, or offer teachable moments. My hope is that I will sow seeds of positivity and happiness through the art that I create and the people that I meet. Here you'll notice um, me at a book reading for a second grade class at First Impressions, whether it's book reading or teaching or just talking to someone at a festival, I try to be encouraging and um, offer those opportunities to really build relationships and inspire others. As an artist, I work in many different forms and offer a wide variety of products and services. Regardless of what I'm doing, I sow seeds of encouragement and passion. Here is my most recent um, art gallery showing where I sold the horse. But what was so cool about this moment was that the person, the, the couple that purchased the painting, uh, we talked for about two hours and just about whatever it was, whether it was art um, or how her horse looks exactly like the picture they purchased. Um, here is um, I'm speed painting which is another service that I offer at the Masquerade Ball in October 14th of 2017, I think. Um, and a speed painting is where I paint a picture within four to eight minutes, and then after the painting, I then give an encouraging message, whether it's or whatever the functions theme is, I try and tie it into that. And then down here is another book reading at the launch of the Adventures of Arlo in Red. My most recent product, oh, here are a couple more uh, different and variety of artwork that I create, whether it's digital, pet portraits, charcoal, watercolor and gouache, or illustrations for books. My most recent project and product is a self-published children's book by the title, The Adventures of Arlo and Red. The story highlights the adventure of a courageous boy and a curious dragon as they go on their journey in downtown Fayetteville. What's more is this book was made possible in part by the Art Council of Fayetteville and Cumberland Counties Artist, or, uh, Regional Artist Project Grant of 2018. My work can be found at City Center Gallery Books in downtown Fayetteville, the LeClaire's General Store in Haymont in Fayetteville, and Lisa's Framing also in Haymont, and Cumberland Coffee Roasters in Hope Mills, as well as I will be traveling to uh, different festivals, galleries, and fairs that you can find me at. And... I have been painting since I was four and started displaying and selling my artwork uh, in 2014 at City Center Gallery and Books. Since then, I have cultivated an amazing and supportive following and earned the title of resident artist of City Center Gallery and Books. I've opened an online shop that sells my books and other artsy things, and I have an Etsy shop in the making. I'm currently working on two more children's books, which one of which will be set to release this fall. My goals for this year are to sell my books on various online platforms, post on social media more consistently, and begin displaying my artwork in a concentration of themes that rotate quarterly at City Center Gallery and Books. In 2022, I hope to open my own studio and gallery, and by 2030, I hope to expand to what I envision to be the art garden. Studios, gallery, and gardens. A place where creativity is grown and cultivated. Until then, I plan to continue being inspired to inspire and create. Here you'll notice some of my products that I have here and they are available for purchase. Um, and I have brought my Gracie's gift and the Adventures of Arlor and books. If you have any questions, I will open up the floor now, is that how it works? Okay, questions. <laughs> what can we do to support? <clears throat> what, um, 
reviews. I would greatly appreciate reviews on Facebook um, or even through email so that if you give me the permission to share your review, whether it's on my book, my art, my services, just meeting me, because my me as an individual is also um, part of what makes my business. Um, if you could allow me the opportunity to share that on my website or share it for you, mm -hmm. that would be helpful. And spreading the word with friends, okay. networking. And, and how do you like the, the, the word to be spread? So typically, um, for, for me, I have events on Facebook and I say, well, you can go to the Facebook events and then you can share those. Um, is that the best way? Do you have um, a newsletter that you send out to people so that they know where your, your art is showing and, and, and then that's easily forwarded? Two things that I've noticed that have worked for me in the four years I've been in business is the Facebook sharing. So if I have an event sharing that or just sharing the page. Mm -hmm. And the other is, um, just happened this morning, was someone went to their friends and said, look at this painting, I really like it. And so now I've got two more commissions just this morning because a friend showed a friend mm -hmm. a painting mm -hmm. um, and from there they were like, well, I want one too. Right. So, so do you have a newsletter that you send out? I do not have a newsletter. Is there a particular reason why you don't? I'm working out the kinks on online and myself. So we're, okay. I'm trying to figure out how would be the best way to be consistent mm -hmm. um, and work well online. So I'm great when it comes to in-person things right. or brick and mortar through City Center, right. but once it hits online, I'm still kind of a little uh, working that out. Gotcha. Okay, and the newsletter is usually people who know you, Okay. so they already have that established relationship because they've signed up for your newsletter. Yes, and I'm working on that. Okay. I've got a little button that says subscribe when you come to my website, mm -hmm. um, and I just started that within like six months, so I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I understand. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to be here to support you. I was fascinated with you. I was here when you did your first Million Cups presentation. And I was like this big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, was, she was just getting started in this. She, you were still in high school, I, I believe. I think I had just graduated. Okay. Yep. And uh, I have been following you on Facebook ever since you set up your Facebook. And that's how I get my information. Awesome. So, and I think I'm, I miss, I was the one that messaged you mm -hmm. to ask you if you were bringing these books today because I've been wanting to purchase. So, yeah. you. so you do you do have a very good Facebook page. Thank you. That's been in the making since 2011, when I was maybe 17. So it's a uh, it's got a lot of history. <laughs> I was thinking, are you at the point where you need an assistant to help you uh, to keep up with your website or get your newsletter out? Because it seems like this is really growing. It is. It is growing. Um, I would love that. I'm not sure how to go about that because um, it would have to be someone close enough that we could work with low cost because I don't have the expense or I don't have the budget to start working with other people and paying them. Um, so I've been doing it about opportunity myself. cost because your job is to. The paintings and the drawings and all oh, that, yeah. and not the being a one-man administrative part. Yeah. <laughs> and so we have a lot of resources here at Family Tech too that make it help you out with that, like interns, work-based learning, and that sort of thing. So I'm mm -hmm. Okay. You after. That's cool. So um, the Arlo and Red is this a sequel or what is this? Is this just? It is the first in a. Series, so I hope to continue on the series. I'll just have to pick one up. Um, and I published it in September of 2018, so just a couple months ago. So it is a brand new book. Um, it does take place in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So you'll see um, if you were to go downtown, you could pick the book up and look at the locations because I went downtown myself and took pictures of the places and then drew them in my studio. Um, I don't know when the next couple of books will come out yet. Will they take place in Japan? In Japan? <laughs> so my husband's in the Air Force and he has orders to Japan. We should be moving in March, um, which is another thing where I'm taking my business online because I have a wonderful following here in Fayetteville that I do not want to lose and I would love to stay connected. Um, and online would be the best opportunity with that. Um, but maybe Arlo and Red will travel to Japan for a short while. We'll see.
Okay. Your books, are they uh, your children's books? Do they cater to a specific age group? My grandbabies are like seven and nine. Would this be too not enough for them? Is it what specific age groups? So I just did a book reading. I say it's three to eight years three old, eight. but I just did a book reading all the way up to sixth grade and seventh grade, and they loved it. Um, it might be because I was their former art teacher, so it was like, hey, Miss Adams, coming back. But, um, but they sat through it, and they loved it, and they got what the message was without being like, this is entirely boring. They didn't feel like it was below or beneath them. Do you plan to do that, like maybe from kindergarten to third grade and third grade and beyond, be more age-specific with your books? I do. So the books that are coming out this fall and maybe next year, they're going to be board books. So those are going to be very age specific to the very young. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope to progress from, I'm going a little all over the place. So I just did children's books, then I'm going to board books. My next is teens. Mm -hmm. So I'm working my way to teens. We, um, a friend and I are trying to write a book about Esther from the Bible, but we're going to turn it into a more um, maybe not so modern, but our twist to Esther. That's our hopes. We have no clue when that finished deadline would be, though. Any other questions? What's your email address? My email address is... was somewhere around here. Uh, C Marino art at gmail.com. And so, how have your sales of the book been? I mean, how many have you sold so far? So, I'm actually currently sold out of my hardcovers, and that's why I do not, do not have any here today. Um, and that would be 100 hardcovers in three months. And I just reordered paperbacks so that I sold 100 paperbacks in two months. Um, and so that would be a good, about 200 books since September or more and counting because this is a, my second order. Yes. Have you tried going to Barnes and Noble and doing um, a, a read of your book there? I have contacted them, mm -hmm. but I have to provide information that I will make a certain amount of sales uh -huh. and gotcha. all these other things, and I'm not quite there yet. Okay. One day. And it's absolutely. And so okay. your goal, how many, when you, when you, when you wrote this and published it, how many did you publish this? 40. 40? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how. Definitely exceeded that. Gracie's way, gift Caroline sold 40 in the first today. month. Um, Arlen Red sold almost 100 in the first month. Arlo and Red came out at a good time, too, because it came out after Christmas. I mean, I mean, just, just before Christmas. Yes. So. Where are you getting them printed at? IngramSpark.com. Um, so what I love about them is their vibrant colors and that they print hardcover picture books, whereas CreateSpace and others that I have looked into don't always print hardcovers, um, as well as their price point was pretty good. Um, the hardest part about Ingram Spark is the it's not user friendly, so there's a lot of work that goes into formatting and submitting your PDF file to be compliant with their system. That took me two months per book to fix and finish. Have you considered a national publisher? Yes, so that's my next goal. Um, after the board books, the board books is another self-published. I'm working with a partner here locally. Um, he wants to write it and he wants me to illustrate, so we're going to partner together. But um, for if I do sequels to Arlo and Red, which I do hope to, I'm going to try doing it with a national publishing company and any other children's books that are not related to either of the two. So is this a sequel to the previous book? Mm -mm. No. Okay. This is a standalone book. It okay. would be the beginning or the start to okay. a new series. Okay. Did you have any formal training or? Is it just all natural town? Uh, so my art is, is I'm self-taught with art mm -hmm. and I'm self-taught with business. 
So I did take a couple classes at FTCC in business for my undergrad. I have a bachelor's in psychology, Christian counseling from Liberty University. Um, and then I went to become an art teacher. So <laughs> I'm doing nothing right, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so I do have a little bit of college experience learning business and then art is just, I've been doing it since I was four. Which is natural. Any other questions? I'm just going to say one thing because okay. I'm just going to toot her horn for her. Okay. She's also been taking some classes here at Fable Tech. Yes. Uh, in art, Perfect. and she, she's moving <laughs> on now to sketching. And she's done. Like I said, I follow her Facebook. I love it. And uh, she's done. She's. You can see all of her art there. I, we followed. I followed Arlo and Red, and they were being creative on there. So um, she's doing some wonderful work with her sketching. So yes, I was I was at FTCC this past semester for sculpture and drawing. Because um, you know, when you become an art teacher, they would like you to have some credentials for sketching. I hope to maybe pursue a master's in art. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do a master's in art or if I want to get a mentorship, an apprenticeship in Japan for art. Because um, the opportunities there seem exciting and overwhelmingly awesome. Well, I'll take the last question. Um, Candy, can you hit on it? What can this community do for you? I would spread the word. Yeah. And um, buy your book. <laughs> I would really love to see the art district downtown flourish. Um, I have put in a lot of, of hours into just helping the community find a love for art. Um, art that's inspiring and uplifting. Um, so if a community could just continue working into appreciating local artists uh, and creatives and creative people, that would be amazing. From an entrepreneurial point of view, any suggestions for other folks who want to start their own businesses? Uh, just start. Just do it. Um, I jumped into selling artwork. I was 19, didn't know what to do, um, and it took off so fast that I was like, well, now i got to learn how to manage a business. So for me, that worked out. Other people, it may not, but um, it forced me to, I could not sit on the couch and think about my business. I had to go and be active because it was already moving. I had to keep up with what was going on. So that's how it started. It worked for me. So follow your passion. Let's do it. All right. Give it up for Caroline. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, you have books for sale if you guys are interested. Um, is there anything going on in the community that anybody wants to talk about? You always look at me. <laughs> um, anything going on, Katie? Girlfriend, uh, girlfriend. Uh, gunpowder gals are meeting tonight to shoot at gyms from six to seven. Women shoot at the range for free. There's a five dollar gunpowder gal fee, but then I cover all your targets. If you don't have a gun, you can borrow one of mine. If you don't know what you're doing, I can work with you a little bit. Although there is live gunfire, so it's really loud. So you know it's not a train. Bring your earplugs. <laughs> yes, the eyes and ears are necessary. You can rent them there. It's like a dollar for eyes and a dollar for ears. So if you are a woman and you're interested in learning a little bit more about guns and you would like to do that with a lot of amazing supportive women, come out tonight at 6 o'clock. At Jim's? Jim's on Yadkin, yes. All right. Anything else? Yes, Jessica. Uh, tonight at Winter Room Tea, they're having a uh, Myers Briggs personality to make social life. Mm -hmm. um, from 6 to 9. Where at? Winter Room Tea, downtown. Okay. 124 Hay Street. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? The Small Business Center is getting started out uh, next week on Wednesday. We have two seminars, actually. Um, one is going to be uh, what to know before you start your business or in, uh, as you're starting. The second one is how to increase your credit score to get a business loan. And if you're interested in that one, you can sign up soon because we're almost at the season. All right. Thank you. Anything else? All right, you guys. Thanks for coming. I hope you have a terrific week. Let's give it up to Carolyn.